Hello everyone, good morning. I want to ruin the day early and I will start the day in ruin by recreating the picture that you see in the bottom right of my screen here. It's uh, the bug test info tool from an old macOS version where the technical keynote by Apple um, just showed this and I saw it and it was quite delightful because even though it's just two lists, a couple of buttons and then a tap controller at the top, it doesn't look too shabby. I mean, it's quite friendly and inviting actually. So um, I wanted to see what Xcode thinks um, is a good recreation when I use um, SwiftUI. Just a real quick uh, demonstration of uh, modern style. So this is the default. I just prepared everything here. And uh, okay, VStack will work as the outermost layout. The tab control is a bit weirdly placed. A selection we eventually need a selection but we are not there yet the tip controller is weirdly placed or the page controller is weirdly placed because it uh, usually displays as a box that you're supposed to inset on all sides but they decided to not do that they just had a bit of top padding so we're also going to do the top padding that's a bit too much length it go here maybe that so, tab view. Uh, how do you get things inside of a tab view? This tab item, tab view style, set the style, set the item, set the style, or set the item. Yes, that's it. Okay, do we need the padding? Mm, yes, we do need the padding. We also need to be infinitely... Maybe... No, we, we, we are properly sized. It's just that the thing is displaying in the center by default. So we need to change the... No, no, no. We need to change the alignment to leading. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, I'm wrong. So we do need to change the max with to infinity. Could also use spacers, but I believe this will also do. No, it won't. So let's do a quick video. He said. Will be funny, he said. Just a bit of Swift UI. Everybody likes Swift UI. Yeah. Yeah. What happens when I do this? Still works. Still works. Okay, so that's that's not doing what I expected to do. Maybe maybe I'm going to flesh this out before I uh, fret too much about it. So these are tab views. Inside of the tab views, we want. A v stack inside of the v stack there should be a text label let me just quickly ocr them arguments to be passed on launch then we need a list with a heading so we actually want a table but swift your heads the fact that uh, there are tables are there tables now there are tables now. Maybe we want a table. Data columns. That's just one column. There's no data. I'm fine with that. What is the value? That's a selector. And the content is this. And that is both. The value from the item, and then you pass in the item, which is an identifiable. Uh, interesting. Mm. Is it a title key? Can I pass a string?
this this happens to me not all the time but quite often that i'm thinking of an array of things and then i type out the thing just to um to make it oh, let me hide this maybe um to hide uh I wanted I wanted to write an array of arguments, so I typed arguments here, even though it's a single thing. I'm doing this for how many years? I don't know. Uh, but I'm still running into the pluralization. It's a view builder. Mm. I don't I don't care. We're not using this. It's just a placeholder. This is going to be a text label of the argument without any help by the compiler. Class and argument allows the string protocol. Ah, so we get the whole thing in. I just wanted to have the value. I do have both. Okay, am I holding this for longer? Uh, am I being obnoxiously stupid? No, of course, <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. <sighs> Learn Swift UI, they said. It will be fun, they said. Cannot infer type of empty closure insert. What, what, what? Okay, you see, I've never wielded um, columns, rows. I wanted column selectors. I mean, Usually you put them at the top. I thought I could put them in line. College of identifier table. Oh, so a binding. I mean, it makes sense. I'm lazy. This is really the best one. Selection, sort order, table, column, title, value, location, location, view, location. I do, don't I, if, if I, if I, I don't understand why I need to select this, but then I don't get the location in, but the whole, whole item. It's, it, that's not what I expect. I mean, then you can use multiple values because maybe it's too, too strict otherwise. Hmm. style anymore bordered yeah I don't know how I feel about that we need a second column of course we need a second column but it doesn't what does it do it's supposed to be nothing can we restrict the table with It's 
Room for checkbox later. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. There we have a text label and now we want two buttons and an H stack. item. For accessibility. Yes. And then you change the button style to uh, image only. Which is it? No, the label style, sorry. Icon only. This is how you do it. This new Xcode version for is formatting buttons really, really weird, in my opinion. What do you have there? Powdered prominent? No, no. No. Is there the round one still? I, I don't believe the round one still exists. Hmm. Yeah, so this, that's the best we get. Okay, one button down. Now we want to share this setting with the next button. If I had Vim motions, maybe I would be. Faster. What do you think? Do you use Vim motions in Xcode? Do you believe Vim motions make you faster? All right. So it's one down, two to go. No, one to go. OCR, copy to clipboard. Yes, copy to clipboard. Variable set in environment. Okay, next one is name value. ID nobody cares about. This time we need the is enable pool. Name String value is also a string because it's an environment variable. Uh, and then we set the values. Of course not. Let's not be lazy. But it's just a demo. I don't want to keep it. Up. But even though I don't want to keep it. Uh, true name log stack logging one. Even though I don't want to keep it, I still want to propagate only the best techniques in programming. And these are don't shy away from long variable names. And Box. Toggle style. That's a toggle style. Toggle is on.
told you. I believe I said something and didn't finish the sentence, but I don't know. Oh, it's covered in part. Okay, then move it up here. The help button. Of course, the help button. Mm. Spacer, button, action. No, now I get this auto completion, the one that I'm used to. I never know what I get from Xcode. Rather, I, I never know why I get things from Xcode and when, when I do get them the way I get them. I don't know if you know what I mean. Label. You see, now, now it's being inlined. Hmm. I'm not going to change the others. Where am I? System name. Yep. Oh, it's question mark. Of course, it's question mark. I don't like the spacing here between the two V-stacks. No, that's better. The tables need a minimum height. You know what? I'm going to do that later. Minimum height of min height of they start with a dark one at the top it seems. I don't recall that this is the way uh, it usually goes. All right. Oh, we need other tabs, of course. Uh. And finally, comments. How do I uh, influence the selection? The selection button. <laughs> you know, this is on, on one hand, this is great that the example code basically is provided in this way that the code snippets have become this huge, but also this is so not helpful. To, to I'm I'm pretty sure I got Xcode to complete just the parameter list there again in the past and then I could remove the parameters I didn't need. Yeah either way. Wait, how do I select things? Hmm. Binding selection value, view builder. Uh, okay, but. Hmm. Consent value of two. No, let's do one. And the second. Hmm. 
So now I need to attach this to the, the meaning. I still need to attach the meaning somehow. I do this. I don't know. I don't know. I would need to look this up. Uh, beats me. So what we do instead is uh, we're not going to present this in the preview in Xcode. Instead, we're going to run the app in all earnest. In earnest? Where is it? Ah, it just took even longer than expected. <laughs> It's it's pushing this this is weird. The padding the top padding doesn't really push the rest down. You know this this is not the minimum width. The minimum width is this. More or less, but I don't know. Swift UI. Okay. Now let's show it at one hundred percent size. I did it reset. Oh, the selection doesn't uh, persist when the window state changes, of course not. Um, okay, so this is a faithful recreation with Swift UI in a couple of minutes. Um, we still get alternating background row color, uh, row background colors in the table. That's a win. But otherwise, otherwise, I believe that the debug test info app from the technical note just looked a bit better that way. I mean, the, the, the tab view in particular doesn't stand out really. The background of the tabs themselves and the background of the, the, the box, they kind of blend, blend in with each other. And I still, I'm still, I'm still very, um, what do you say? Uh, how do you say it? Nostalgic for the lickable uh, aqua style buttons and also the, the textured backgrounds um, of the um, the box themselves. We can't get this anymore. I mean, this this still this doesn't look like absolute crap, but it's also very boring. And the one to the right is much more interesting, in my opinion. So that was there was <laughs> everything I wanted to show to you today. Um, thanks for joining my trip on the nostalgia train to ancient macOS artifacts and recreating them with SwiftUI. I hope you suffered less than I did uh, from trying to um, get Xcode to to help me complete the code. It was fine. Look, today it's I'm, I'm just memeing a bit. It was it was quite okay. I got the stuff done I wanted to do. So thanks Xcode for this. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a better day uh, starting the day than I had. We see each other in the next one.